Local leaders are continuing to push for prison reform following a recent report by the U.S. Department of Justice. The DOJ condemned the Mississippi Department of Corrections for violations of basic human rights. Cognos T. McKenzie reports it's a complex issue that requires a strategic approach. Untold stories of those incarcerated. Prison is about survival. It's live or die. Numerous posters cover Pauline Rogers' dining room table. The people that we help, nobody has ever gone back to prison. Nobody. Co-founder and executive director of Reaching and Educating for Community Hope, Pauline is a voice for the voiceless. And I was at the state capitol just a few days ago when Senator Juan Barnett, who's the head of the Corrections Committee, made a proposal to over a long-term period to close down parchment. It didn't go to the next phase, but he's on track. The DOJ's four-year investigation into three Mississippi correctional facilities, including the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility, revealed inadequate supervision, uncontrolled flow of contraband, and failure to fix poor living conditions. Founded in 2015, Clergy for Prison Reform's goal is to provide faith-based services and amplify the voices of families whose loved ones are incarcerated. In 2015 and a little bit thereafter, the legislation that was passed began to reduce uh, incarceration rates and uh, later on uh, the Department of Justice and others have also went into Walnut Grove, another facility, and basically shut it down because of its conditions. And it's stories like Percy's that keep activists pushing for change. They're 60 pay short. <laughs> That's my takeaway. They got 60, but they they missing 60 more, plus 60 more, plus 60 more. It is that bad. Make no mistake about it. Hopefully, the feds will come in and really, really shake some things up. Uh, but it just speaks to the fact that we need all hands on deck. According to Rogers, the saying, you're a product of your environment, rings true. If you don't give rehabilitation, there won't be rehabilitation. According to Prison Policy Initiative, the state of Mississippi locks up a higher percentage of its people than any Democratic country on Earth. Reporting in Jackson, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.